One of the most underrated TikTok side hustles that can produce a lot of passive green. We're going to find out if this is worth doing. Let's take a look. So this particular side hustle is renting out cars on Turo. Turo is an alternative to a commercial rental company who people want to skip the regular commercial experience and go directly to um, an individual. It's for this example, we're going to use the Royals Royce Cullinan 2020 model and it rents out for 8K. The average rentals are usually about anywhere from 14 to 30 rentals a month, but let's say it only rents out four times a month, then that would produce 32K. Now the car itself is um, 300,000 to buy outright. So if you buy it for 300,000, then you have uh, insurance, which is another 100,000. So that's about 400K just to get the car. And let's say that you do start renting it out for four times a month, then you're looking at um, producing about 32, because we said 8K times four, so that's 32 a month. So the car would be paid off in a year, okay? And then it would, um, after that, uh, everything would be profit. And of course, there's maintenance, and um, and if there's anything happens like damage, then there would be those extra expenses. But let's assume that nothing happens to it. The only downside I can see with Turo is that you actually have to meet the owner. So you actually have to go to the owner's place if there's no location near the airport. Now I was doing some more research because I don't have a ghost, I can't test this out myself. I was actually reading up on it and there's a lady on TikTok called Real Cody Sanchez who talks about a guy who rents out ghosts and he has 30 of them. So he ends up making about 800K a year. Uh, the only neg negative things I could find about Turo is that um, sometimes if your flight's delayed, um, then the owner of the car might not be you know, um, able to meet you to pick up the car so it might be inconvenient if there's delays and personally if i had a car of some sort i would definitely do turo I, this seems like a good side hustle as far as i can tell and um it's passive so give it a thumbs up